Hi everybody, happy Friday. Congratulations making it through one more week. You are amazing. Just think next Friday will be May 1st, which is going to be the first, I don't know, first day of May. That's your last month as an eighth grader. So it's kind of exciting, but also super sad. Um, today, we're just going to be working with um, reviewing what we've learned this week. So we're going to go through the different congruent and supplementary angle relationships um, and using those relationships to solve for unknown angles. Um, so today is just an all-encompassing review to kind of sum up all of the information that we talked about this week because it was definitely a lot. So let's start with the basics. We've got lines one and two. Those are parallel. Okay, they never intersect. Then we have this transversal here that runs through and cuts all of the eight angles. Okay, so that transversal creates all of the angle relationships that we've been talking about all week. Now, there are two different types of angle relationships. We've got congruent, which means that they're equal, and we have supplementary, which means that they add to 180 degrees. There are definitely more congruent angle relationships than supplementary, but it's still important that we know all of them. The congruent angle relationships are alternate interior and exterior, corresponding and vertical. And then our supplementary angle relationships, notice that they all have the S's here. So it's like same side interior, same side, supplementary. Same side exterior, same side, supplementary. So if you keep that kind of like alliteration stuck in your head, that'll help you out. So let's talk about the really, um, angle relationships within the diagram. So if I were to show you these, like four and five or three and six, you see that they're on the all, like the opposite side of that green transversal, and we know another word for opposite is alternate, and they're inside. So that means that they are alternate interior. Alternate, opposite sides, interior, in between those parallel lines. Because they're alternate interior, they will be congruent. If I show you this diagram, you see that they're outside of those parallel lines and they're on alternate sides or opposite sides of the transversal, which means they're going to be alternate exterior. Exterior like exit, they're outside, alternate opposite sides. They are going to be congruent. When you see these here, you've got one and four, you've got six and seven. Notice how they're kind of circled all together. They're across from one another that means that they are vertical angles. Okay, if you can circle them across from one another, they are vertical and that means they're congruent. So like if angle one was 100, four would be 100. If angle six was 30, seven would be 30. Okay, this is the most common misconception with kids is identifying this angle relationship here. You see that you've got the two clusters within your transversal and parallel lines. If you have an angle that's in the same spot on the top as it is on the bottom, like this is in your top right and this is in your top right, that means that it's going to be corresponding. Those are in corresponding positions. They're in the same position in the top and the bottom of the diagram. Because they're corresponding, they're going to be congruent. So they're going to be equal. If angle one was 70, angle two would be 70. Now these are what we more, um, more recently looked at, especially yesterday. We see that three and five here, not only are they in between those parallel lines, but they're on the same side. Same side means supplementary. So these are same side interior because they're in between the parallel lines and they're supplementary because they're on the same side. So angles three and five would add to 180. Angles four and six would add to 180. Obviously, hopefully you can guess um, what this one would be. If they're outside of your parallel lines and they're on the same side, okay, like one and seven and then two and eight, those are going to be same side exterior, exterior like exit on the outside and then same side of the transversal. Um, and because they're same side, they're going to be supplementary. Now let's use that to practice a little bit finding those missing angle measures. If I showed you this diagram and I told you, all right, angle one is 120, what would angle eight be? Now you know that those are on opposite sides of the transversal, which means it's alternate, and they're exterior because they're outside of those parallel lines. Well, alternate exterior means that the angles are congruent, which means they're equal. So if angle one is 120, angle eight has to be 120. If I showed you these guys here, not only do you see that they're on the same side, but you also see that they're inside or in between those parallel lines. Well, when we've got same side interior angles, same side means supplementary. 
which means that they add to be 180 degrees. So you have to think, all right, 120 plus what gets me to 180 or 180 minus 120, and you should get 60 degrees. These guys here, if I'm looking at 75 and then angle two, and I wanted to know, all right, what is angle two? You could circle those across from one another, kind of like diagonally, which means that they're vertical. Now, if you have vertical angles, that means that they're congruent. So if this guy's 75, angle two also has to be 75. I mean, guys, you're doing a great job. We are almost done, and then I'll preview your assignment with you. Okay, this is probably the most challenging for kids to identify. So number one, what relationship type do you see with these angles? I see that this is in the bottom left, and then if you have this bottom left angle here, they're in the same position. Same position means that they're corresponding angles. And if they're corresponding angles, they're congruent. Corresponding, cor uh, congruent. If this angle is 40 degrees, angle seven also has to be 40 degrees. All right. Um, these guys here, angle two and angle 150, they're on the same side of the transversal and they're outside of those parallel lines. So they're not going to be same side interior, they're going to be same side exterior because they're outside. Because they're same side, we know that they're going to be supplementary, which means they add to 180 degrees. Therefore, you're going to ask yourself, 150 plus what is equal to 180 degrees? Or you can do 180 minus 150 and you would get 30. All right, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to show you how to access your Friday assignment quickly. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go to your e-learning folder and then click the Friday Ingalls Review. So if you were on Schoology, it would look like this. So you go to the Friday, um, I'm in the e-learning folder. You click Friday Ingalls Review Assignment. And when you click, it's going to look like this. Um, so it's going to, it's only a few slides. So here are your directions. You only need to do work or like drag and drop on slides three and four. Okay. So when you come to slide three, you're going to see this diagram and it's going to say, all right, angles one and four, these across from one another, what relationship are they? And then you can pick up these little spots here and you can drag them and drop them into the table. Okay, so you need to drag and drop all of the pieces into the table based on the angle relationship shown. Then for slide four, you're given that this angle is 100 degrees, you need to figure out all the rest of the angles. You only need to use these pieces down here and then drag them appropriately where they should go. Okay, and then after that, just submit to Schoology by 11.59 tonight. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend. Take some time for yourself to decompress, um, and I'll see you next week. See you later.